and officially welcome you to our vinyasa practice today. And I already mentioned it before, my feeling was to go a little bit into the hips and the reason. I always go very much in my teaching by the way I feel actually. And funny enough, I feel the people that show up always kind of resonate or seem to be in a similar space. Um, and to me, I noticed like the last couple of days, I've been very much like out. I've been listening to, I mean, not out physically, but like out listening, talking to people, listening to classes, doing practices with other people. And I always feel if I'm a lot out, then at some point I have such a longing to go in. And then I don't want to like listen to anybody and I don't want to practice with anybody. And I really just need to go to my mat and sit down and, um, and do my own practice and just kind of like listen to myself again. And I feel like there's this really beautiful dance of like um, contraction and expansion. And you maybe relate to that too. There's times that we really need to be out and expand and reach out and connect. And then there's these times where we like kind of get lost if we're too much out there and we need to come back um, to our center. So, and the funny thing is now that we're so confined to being like, we can't really go out. I feel this is much more happening really in like a very small um, radius. So it's like very much like on a personal level of like, okay, if I expand too much, I get lost. If I'm like too much with myself, then I'm longing to reach out. So for me, when I feel that way, the best way to ground myself and kind of bring myself back to my, my own practice and how I feel and forgetting about the world outside is to do hip practices because the heart is always about opening and the hips is really about going in, going deeper and feeling and getting back to my sensations and the way I feel in um, my body and what I even feel about life right now if I'm kind of feeling I lost a little bit of touch with that. So I hope that resonates with you in some way. And here we have one more person coming and as always, since I don't see you doing your practice, I want to encourage you to also with your practice, really, really listen to your body, what's right and what's not right. We're all in different places, different journeys, we have different things going on right now. So it's ever so more important that you listen and really do just what feels good. So you have total permission to do whatever you need to do. Hug your kids in between. <laughs> have a glass of water, come into child's pose at any time, because that's really the beauty of yoga, right? It encourages us to find our way and to do what we need to do. I can't say that often enough. And I always say that as a reminder to myself. So it's like, that's the yoga. It's like, okay, what do I need right now? How can I give that to myself? And how can I communicate that also to the outer world in a way that they might not feel offended if I'm drawing withdrawing myself and going into my own space so let's start on the mat i'm going to close here i'll move to the mat and also in case we get disconnected somehow with the internet stay where you are and for sure i'll be trying to come back on the last couple of times it's always worked really fine but just in case if we get disconnected always just come back on or i come back on so, all right, let's do this. Oops, to have my watch. So, find a comfortable seat. And with your eyes closed, drop into stillness, which means also not fidgeting around, just kind of finding your seat and checking in with yourself and really feeling what's going on for you right now, what's present for you right now. And letting go of whatever happened so far in your day. And just focusing on softening your body. It's amazing how busy we can get even in these times. And maybe you are a person that also likes to be really busy and it's your default to just keep yourself busy. 
and just even more so enjoy right now to get grounded, become still. And open your ears to all the sounds. Maybe you're lucky you can hear some monkeys. Or just enjoy the stillness and just see what's going on for you right now. Maybe feel a nice breeze on your skin or just the warmth of your air. And take a big, big breath in and exhale through the mouth. Breath is just coming in and going out softly. You're not trying to change anything about it. Just watching. And I'm bringing your awareness all the way down to your root, to your hips, maybe rocking a little bit back and forth now to feel the connection to the earth. And then take your hands together in front of your heart with your thumbs touching to your chest. And taking a moment here to maybe feel your heartbeat. And then we'll begin with one sound of um, nice big breath. Oh. And then slowly release your hands and gently open your eyes. Good. If you're sitting on a block or something, please remove it. And stretch your legs out in front of you and shake them out. Good. Take your hands and just kind of massage your legs a little bit. Wake them up. Go along the inside of your legs along the outside of your legs, up and down. Good. And then swing your legs around and find your way into a child's pose. I want to start today with a nice wide-legged child's pose. So open the knees nice and wide to the edges of the mat. And reach your arms all the way forward. And your forehead may be touching the floor, or maybe you just need to put a block or a pillow on the knees. See how it feels to be on your fingertips, which I always like, and then to draw the shoulders back into the sockets. And the heart reaches forward. And take a couple of really nice deep breaths into your back body. And then walk your hands all the way over to the right. Let's give a nice stretch to the left side and just place your left hand on your right and fill your right side with your breathing. Good, and then come back to the middle. Sweet way of connecting, I find to myself so let, right hand on top of the left now and you just keep pressing your sit bones towards your heels and breathing into the right side and then come back to the middle And place your hands and come back onto your hands and knees. And tuck your toes to lift up in your first downward facing dog. And just take a few moments here to stretch out your legs. 
bend the right knee and then press your left heel down and stick your butt all the way up high. And then switch, bend the left knee and press your right heel down. And then walk your feet slowly forward. Bring your feet about hip distance. So you can measure with two fists in between your feet. And then just walk your hands over to your right heel and fold forward. And then come back to the middle and walk your hands all the way over to your left heel. Good. Then you feel those are stretches in the hips. And then come back to the front. Inhale to lengthen, lift the heart. Shoulders move away from the ears. Your knees are slightly bent. As you exhale, fold back down, let your head go. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale to lengthen. Really stick your butt back and feel and stretch in your hamstrings. And exhale, rest your belly onto your thighs and fold. And then hands onto your waist, press into your feet. Inhale, come all the way up to your head. And we'll start in Tadasana with the feet about hip distance apart. When you look at your feet, the outer edges are parallel. So the heels are a little bit wider than your toes. And then you can lift all your toes. So people coming. You can still lift all your toes. So spread them as best as you can and then release them back down. Very nice. And with a little bend of your knee, Take your arms out to the side so the elbows are in line with the shoulders. And we'll just swing a little bit from left to right. Inhaling left, exhale right. And you can exhale through the mouth. Or keep your knees soft. This is good to loosen up the upper body. And then release the arms and now swing them and they may tap onto your kidneys, your lower back, and that's totally fine. A little energy there. Loosening up the spine. Good. And then slow it down and come back to the middle. Turn your palms to face forward, close your eyes. And as you rotate your arms out and you feel your chest, your heart space expanding, just soften into that and just see what's there. See if you feel any tingling in the center of your palms. Maybe take this moment to set an intention for your practice. What is it that you need today? What do you wish for? And then open the eyes and inhale, lift the arms all the way out. And, up. and as you exhale, dive forward into Uttanasana. Inhale, your heart lifts. As you exhale, step your left foot back, drop your knee. Bring your back foot flat and place your hands on top of the right knee. And slide the right knee a little bit forward. Hold on. So people coming. And if you like, you can lift the arms up as well. So if your hand is up on the knee, you can also hook your thumb thumbs, maybe back off a little bit so you can zip up your belly and then inhale, float the arms up and feel that nice opening in the chest. Good. All right, and then from here, release. Left hand comes to the floor. Now tuck your back toes and inhale, your right arm floats up into the sky and notice if your left hip wants to drop and keep it lifted. So you can open a little further and then extend the right arm over your head. Breathing deeply. Good, exhale to release, step back. And stretch out your legs. Inhale, float your left leg up. As you exhale, step your left foot forward now and drop your right knee down and bring your right toes flat. And then again, your left, your hands come onto your left knee and you gently push a little forward. So you'll feel a stretch in the right thigh. 
if it gets too much in your lower back and you're arching too much, then you want to zip up your belly. Remember last time we talked also about the bandhas. So there's always a little engagement here. Maybe hook your thumbs, float the arms up, open the chest. Breathe. Exhale to release, place your right hand to the floor, tuck your right toes, lift the right knee and the hip a little bit. So you can lift your left arm up and then extend the left arm over your head. As you exhale, release and step forward. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, take the arms out and up. And as you exhale, hands come to your heart. We'll start to flow. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, heart lift. Left foot steps back. Press down into your feet. Inhale, reach the arms up. Stay here. Focus on something in front of you that's not moving. Inhale to straighten. Exhale, bend both knees. Inhale, lifting up. Whoops. And exhale to bend. Two more times. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale to bend. And last one, inhale. This time, exhale, drop your knee to the floor. Fingertips come to the floor. Slide your foot now, half a foot forward. Bring your right elbow onto the knee and swing your left arm up and over. Maybe your right fingertips even come to the floor. You wanna feel a deep stretch in the left inner belly. So that's your psoas muscle. Breathe into it. Good, inhale to come up. Fingertips to the floor, tuck your back toes and straighten your front leg into Ardha Hanumanasana. And you wanna drag the right heel back as you fold. So nice. Breathe. You have a beautiful breath here today. Good. And then bend the front knee, tuck your back toes, and swing the right leg all the way up into the sky. Shake it up. Release your right foot down. Inhale to come forward. And as you exhale, lower down, knees, chest, chin. Slide forward into your cobra. Exhale, take it back. Downward facing dog. Stretch out your leg. Good. Inhale, your left leg floats up. Exhale, step forward. Press down into your feet. Lift the arms up. Focus your eyes. Square your hips. Inhale, straighten. Exhale to bend. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to bend. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, drop your knee to the floor. Fingertips come to the floor. Left foot slides a little bit forward. So you want the knee to be right above the anchor. Left elbow onto the knee, right arm floats up and over. Maybe left fingertips come to the floor or on a block, or you just stay here and breathe. Always remember to breathe and to soften the face and to soften the heart. Good. Exhale to release. Now straighten your front leg. You can tuck your back toes. Energetically drag the heel back towards you. Beautiful. Last breath. And then place your hands, step back. Inhale, rock forward, exhale, lower down. Now you can go through your vinyasa, whichever way you like to do it. And we all meet in downward facing dog. Stay there and breathe. Face is soft. And then bend the knees up towards your hands, walk, step, or jump forward. On the inhale, lengthen. On the exhale, fold it down. Inhale, take the arms out and up. Exhale, 
hands to the heart. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, dive forward, Uttana. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms up, sit back into chair pose. So really sit back. So when you look down, you'll see your toes, lift the chest. Inhale as you exhale, hug your knees. Inhale, float the arms back up. Exhale, hugging your knees. Two more, inhale. Good, exhale. Expansion, spreading your wings. Inhale, exhale. Fold forward, contraction. Inhale, lift onto the fingertips. Exhale, left foot steps back. Hardware your arms into warrior two. Take a moment, gaze over your front middle finger. Inhale, lift your right arm up. Exhale, elbow to knee. Left arm reaches long. Press into your back foot. Inhale, come up. Exhaling, elbow to knee. Left arm long. Last time, inhale, coming up. This time we stay. Elbow to knee, left arm reaches long. You can bring your thumb and index finger to touch. You could bring your fingertips to the floor. Whatever works, you can also keep your left arm straight up. Most important, breathe. Maybe even close your eyes. Feel the pose. Feel where you can find connection and feel where you can soften. Good, inhale to come back up. Interlace your hands behind your back and then lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward. Scoop the right hip under, lift your arms, look towards your front foot. Good, press into your back foot. Inhale to come up, exhale, warrior two. And we flow, inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands to the floor, step back. Inhale to rock forward, exhale, lower down, vinyasa of your choice. We meet in downward facing dog. Face is soft, jaw is relaxed, take a big breath in, stick your bag up, exhale through the mouth. Inhale, left leg up, exhale, step your left foot forward, right heel comes down. Card with your arms into warrior two. And we flow, inhaling, proud warrior. Exhale, just nice and easy, elbow to knee. Come back up, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, elbow to knee. Last time, inhale to come back up. This time we stay, elbow to knee, reach your right arm long. And then find your variation. Maybe fingertips inside or outside your left foot. Whatever feels good. Open the chest. Stretch. Breathe. <sighs> nice. And then inhale. Press up. Interlace your hands. Lift the chest. Exhale. Fold forward. Scoop that left hip under. Good, press into the back foot to come back up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back. Move through the vinyasa of your choice. Remember, this is your practice. If you need to skip vinyasa today, and just stay in down dog, or maybe move forward and back. Whatever feels good. Nice. From here, bend the knees, look towards your hands, walk, step, or jump forward. On the inhale, lengthen. On the exhale, fold it down. Bend the knees, come back into chair pose. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, interlace your hands, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward. Two more times, bend the knees, inhale, lifting up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, come up to stand. Exhale, belly to thigh, fold forward. Last time, inhaling up. Exhaling, hands to the heart. Inhaling, standing tall. 
This time we stay. So exhale, fold forward. Let your head go. Maybe shift a little bit back and forth. Shake out your head. Yes and no. Good. Then release your hands. Come halfway up. Hands go onto your waist. Press down to come all the way up to stand. Good. Step your right foot back. We'll come with your legs wide open to face me and turn your toes out a little bit. Now, when you bend the knees, really make sure the knees go towards the little toe side. So I don't want you to collapse your inner, uh, your inner um, arches. So inhale, lift the arms. Start to bend the knees as you exhale. Scoop your right arm underneath your left. Press your palms together, elbow in line with the chest and then lower down. And don't lean forward, try to have your shoulders above your hips and sink a little deeper. Really feel the power in your legs, super strong legs, and you can sink a little deeper with your upper body. Good, now see if you can lift your toes, feel how that engages. Release the toes now and lift the heels. Woohoo, breathe. Press down, good. Inhale to come all the way up. And now we switch as you exhale, left arm underneath your right. And you can hold on to whatever you can hold on to. Remember the knees go out and sit lower. Elbows align with the shoulders, shoulders move back, sink deeper. Remember your bandhas. This is beautiful to draw the pelvic floor up. It's beautiful to draw the belly back and really feel the power lower. Lift your toes and then release the toes, lift the heels. Whew. Are you breathing? Push down, inhale to come up and exhale, hands onto your waist, turn your feet parallel. Inhale, lift the chest as you exhale, fold forward and walk your hands forward. You may open your feet a little wider. Just push the floor away. Like a nice big downward dog, sticking your butt up and feeling the stretch in the inner thighs. <sighs> Good, now walk your hands back. Turn your left toes to face forward. Lift your right heel. So I hope we're all on the same side. Turn your left toes a little bit out. Walk your hands forward, stay on your hands or maybe come down onto your elbows. Lizard pose. If you need to, you can drop your back knee, no problem. If you can, keep the legs straight. <sighs> Breathing deeply. Feel this nice stretch. Hold it for one more breath. Really soften your shoulders and neck. That's where we often hold. Good, and then come back, walk your hands back. Now turn your left toes a little bit more in. So this is optional, it might be too much for some of you. See if you can bring your left arm underneath your left thigh, like an airplane and the, the arm pushes up, but the thigh pushes down. And then you look up and you press into your feet and you reach both arms out for airplane. Ooh. And then release and step your left foot back. Good, and just roll over onto the heels to the left, back to the middle, roll onto the heels on the right. One more time each side, over to the left, all the way to the right, and back into downward facing dog. Whew. other leg. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step your right foot outside of your right hand. Toes slightly turned out. Walk your hands forward, push the floor away. Maybe come down onto your elbows. Left heel is reaching back. Knee can drop if you need to. So again, as you're in the pose, maybe close your eyes. What is it you need right now? Do you need to go more in or do you need to expand more? Do you need to connect more, draw in and connect to your belly? Good, and then come back onto your hands. 
for the little challenge and if this felt too much then you're totally fine to just stay here for a moment and who wants to join me bring your right arm underneath so like an airplane and you're pushing up and the resistance is what keeps you going and gives you the balance and the head is lifted and looking forward airplane pose good and then release and step back and once again roll over to the left here to the right here to the left here to the right here and back to the middle bend the knees inhale roll forward exhale vinyasa of your choice and we come back into downward facing dog and then you can drop your knees and sit back into child's pose softening completely rocking maybe a little bit side to side Good. and then placing your hands come back up tuck your toes downward facing dog bend the knees look towards your hands walk step or jump forward inhale to lengthen exhale to fold inhale take the arms out and up exhale hands to the heart good so i want to do one more standing pose so that we stretch it out a little inhale lift the arms up and then we'll go to the floor on the exhale long back to dive forward knees down. inhale to lengthen left foot steps back hard with your arms into warrior two straighten your front leg now reach your hip back and come into trikonasana so left arm can reach up or you can take it forward pull the shoulder back and then stretch the arm over your head with your palm facing behind you find that long line of energy let's see if you can bring your right arm parallel and then exhale fold over your right leg step your left foot excuse me so step your left foot a little closer and turn it a little bit more forward so you can really square your hips maybe walk your right toes out a little bit more and you can be also on blocks here or books or something inhale to lengthen as you exhale fold over the right leg so energetically the right hip moves back the left hip moves forward and those of you wanting to go even deeper you could place your left hand inside or outside of your right foot take your right hand into your right hip crease pull it back and either stay here or take the right arm up for revolved trikonasana so it's not for everyone you decide where's your boundary where do you need to stop and then everybody release and place your hands and step your foot back move through the vinyasa inhale to come forward exhale to lower down lifting the chest upward dog exhaling back downward facing dog nice big breath in bend both knees think of your inner thighs to move back and up so for those of you with back issues this is really important first of all to bend the knees so you can really lengthen and then to think of your inner thighs to move back this will create space float the left leg up step your left foot forward right heel down hard with your arms into warrior two work really windy today nice from here straighten your front leg hip moves back lengthen find your way into trikonasana so as you can see i never go all the way down because it would be here it doesn't look like energy is flowing much so even for me 
after all these years with the tightness in my body, I'm here and that's where I'm happy. And then I can extend the arm and get the really beautiful long stretch. So find your way. Good, then press into your feet, zip up your belly so you can take your left arm long. Inhale as you exhale, fold over the left leg and step your right foot closer. So hips square as best as you can as you fold to the end. And those of you wanting to go into the full revolved tree, a triangle pose, Place your hand inside or outside of the left foot. The left hand grabs your hip and pulls it back. The left arm reaches up into the sky. And then everybody release. Fingertips to the floor and step back. One last vinyasa, inhale to come up, exhale, lower down, moving through. And then we all meet in downward facing dog, stretch out your legs. Inhale, your right leg floats up. As you exhale, right knee comes to the outside of the right wrist. Tuck your left toes, slide your left leg a little further behind and come into pigeon pose. So there's a line from my knee that goes outside of the hip. And this will help you to square your hips. Fingertips press into the floor. Find the length in your chest. Enjoy the crickets. They always come around this time. Soften your face. Smile. Where are you holding? Soften the shoulders. And then when you feel the length and ready, walk your hands forward for pigeon pose. And just enjoy your breath. Don't even worry about going any deeper. Just see where you are, what's going on, and where you can maybe soften a little bit more. Good, and then slowly release walk your hands back tuck your left toes step your right foot back and just stretch out your legs again inhale your left leg up now exhale bring your left knee outside of your left wrist tucking your right toes draw the right knee further back square your hip as best you can fingertips to the outside lengthen exhale fold forward and sink into pigeon pose on this side and feel the difference. To me, this is always sweet pain. It's kind of the pain I like. But to me, it's much harder to deal with the pain from doing abdominals. That's not sweet pain for sure. So we're all different. So just see your tolerance, your boundaries, what's challenging for you, where can you soften more. And then from here, slowly release, roll over onto your left cheek and swing your right leg all the way around and just shake it out. Good. Bend your left knee now. Bring your right foot, I'll turn towards you. Yeah. Turn your, bring your right foot above your left knee and then sit really, really tall. So you push down to lift the chest. Feel the stretch in the right outer hip. And it's good to flex the foot. 
Now you can stay here. Those of you feeling really, really open and wanting to go deeper, you could bring your left knee to the floor and come into fire lock pose. So the important part here is it's both knees and ankles connected. So this foot doesn't go back. It's like a triangle in front of you. And you may pull the flesh out from underneath, which will, again, like the inner spiral create space. And then maybe you're here and you could even place a block as a support. Some of you may be really, really open and just having an easy time to fold forward. That's not happening for me today. So be very mindful here. I don't want you to force anything. Just listen and feel into your body and breathe. So this is where I'm at today. Agni Stambhasana, fire log pose. You remember the word Agni from when I talk about the little fire in the belly. Good, and then slowly release. Unfold your legs and just swing your legs a little bit side to side. And then we'll switch. Now your left foot comes over the right knee. Sit nice and tall. You will feel the stretch already here. So this is really fine to just stay here. Not forcing anything. Stay really with your calm breath. Those of you wanting to go deeper, remember ankle to knee. And you want to stretch the inner ankle so there's no wrinkle to protect your knee. And then you can go further. The side is a little easier for me. Maybe push into the fingertips or just use a block. And just wherever you are, be still. Feel the pose. Good. And then release. Slowly come back up, unfold your legs, and move them a little bit side to side. Good. Take your strap so you have it next to you. Take the soles of the feet together and take the moment to come back into goddess pose. Placing your right hand onto your belly, your left hand onto your heart. And just feeling expansion, contraction, the dance and the flow of your breath it happens automatically without you doing anything about it. Good. And then hands to your thighs, slowly bring your knees back together, straighten your left leg and bring the right knee into your chest. So really hugging it closely to your chest. You can bring your forehead to the knee one inch and then release back down. Take your strap or your scarf and place it around the right foot and then straighten the right leg all the way up into the sky. Now, for some of you, you might notice that the leg wants to turn in. You can take your right hand now and gently Pull the flesh of your thigh out a little bit and then pull the leg a little closer. So you're creating space in your groin. And then take your left arm out to the side, pull the right leg a little closer and breathe into the back of the right leg. Toes are pointing down towards your face. Good, and then inhale as you exhale, begin to open the leg all the way out to the right. Breathe here. And then inhale to come up. Take your strap into your left hand. And now this time, exhale, lower the leg all the way to the left and look over your right shoulder. Good. 
Inhale to come back up. Remove the strap. Hug the knee into your chest. And then straighten the right leg all the way to the floor. And just shake it out. Bring your left knee into your chest. Stay here for a breath. Maybe lift your forehead to your knee. And then come back down with your head. Take your strap or your scarf. Place it around the left foot. Really straighten the leg. Maybe your left hand is pushing a little bit out into the thigh to create space. And then take your strap into your left hand. Your right leg is also really active. Inhale as exhale, begin to open the leg all the way to the left. Send your breath down, down, down into your pelvis, into your hips, to your belly. And then inhale to come back up. Take the strap, exhale, lower the leg all the way over to the other side. Look over your left shoulder. And then inhale, lift the leg back up. Release the strap, hug the knee into the chest. And then straighten the leg all the way to the floor. Take a moment here to feel into your groins. Notice the space in your leg. And then bend both knees. Bring your feet up towards the sky. Arms go inside your legs. Grab the outside of your feet and then gently pull the knees down and rock a little bit side to side like happy baby pose. Remember to bring your lower back towards the floor. This is what kind of releases the back. Good. And then from here, hug the knees into your chest and rock yourself all the way up to seated. Good. And straighten your legs in front of you. Take them out. Good. Bring the soles of the feet together. I'll turn towards you. Press into your fingertips to lift your hips up and just swing your hips a little side to side and then allow for them to just release back down to the floor. Now, if your knees are pretty high, you can just sit here nice and tall. If you are okay with your knees pretty open, you can grab your feet even and open them like a book as you fold forward. Good. Inhale to come back up, exhale, release, straighten your legs, shake them out. Good, now roll over to your left cheek, bring your right foot next to your body. You might feel that you're rolling a little bit over to the left, that's fine. We want to stretch now the right quad. So a couple of options, you can stay here, this is pretty intense. You could also place a block or a blanket underneath your left cheek. This will make it a little easier for you. You can walk your hands back. Maybe you can come down onto your elbows, but make sure your right knee doesn't lift. You want to keep it pressing down. If it's too much on your back, you can bend your left knee. Maybe you can come even all the way to lie on your back, which I can't, 
or you just stay here on your hands. Focus on this line in your thigh to stretch. Just take a couple of breaths. Those of you who can maybe lie all the way back down, you could take your arms over your head and grab your elbows and this will really stretch your whole body very long. Good. And then everybody find your way back up to seated. Roll over to the left cheek and stretch your right leg out again. And you can again take your fist some kind of massage, watch out for your knee. So if that hurts your knee in any way, then please do not do this pose and just do something different. And if you're okay for the other side, bend your left knee, put comes next to your hip. You have to maybe make a little adjustment and then lean back if that's okay for you. Keep lifting from your chest and just breathe into the left thigh that you're stretching now. We'll just stay here on your hands, feeling the stretch all along the thigh. Good. Those of you lying back, again, the option is to grab your elbows over your head. This is a pretty good release. the front of the thigh. One more breath. If you're lying down, slowly find your way back up. And then everybody come up, roll onto your right cheek, take the left leg forward, and maybe take your pillow out. Good, now open your legs nice and wide. Once again, inner thighs move back, lift the flesh out from underneath. Inhale, lift the arms up. As you exhale, lean forward. Press your legs down. Stay here for a moment. See if maybe you can walk your sit bones one more inch back. And again, inhale to lengthen. As you exhale now, fold forward. Keep your legs active if you can. Breathe. Enjoy this beautiful stretch along the inner thighs. Good, and then slowly walk your hands all the way back up. Take your hands underneath the knees and slowly slide your feet back. Bring your left arm underneath your left leg. Rotate the shoulder and the arm out to push into the leg. And just easily take your right arm up. Look at your right fingertips. Just a nice little chest opening here. And then exhale, release, bring the arm underneath, rotate the arm back and then inhale, lift your left arm up. Good, and then exhale to release. Straighten your legs. I recommend sitting on a block or pillow. And we're coming into Paschimottanasana once again. Take the flesh out. Feel how that lifting and the inner spiraling of your thighs creates space in your lower back. Start with your knees bent. Inhale, lift the arms up. As you lean forward, really rest your chest onto your thighs. Scoop the belly in and up. Remember the bandhas. And this will protect your lower back. And then either stay here with your knees bent or begin to straighten your legs by keeping that length in your lower back. You could hold on to your feet, or what's also nice, you can press your hands down and kind of slide your hands back towards you. And again, what is it that you need right now, this moment, to 
soften, breathe, let go of too much effort, let go of too much ambition, and rather just receive your body as it is. And if there's places that feel tight, just enjoy. Three more breaths, yeah. Beautiful. And then slowly come back up. Take the soles of the feet together in front of you for Tarasana. You slide your hands underneath onto the tops of the feet and fold forward. And you might notice, I was really, when I did this practice this morning, I noticed for the first time I actually really could touch my forehead to my heels, which never happens. So all this practice of the last couple of weeks have really uh, created a nice little shift for me. So breathing into the back body, maybe it's also that I'm just in general like softer, less running around. We'll see how that is for you. Can you feel things shifting, opening, changing during the last couple of weeks of more regular practice maybe? And then release and slowly come all the way back up and find your way into meditation. So sitting on a pillow, sitting on a block, whatever works for you. And then closing your eyes again, pull the shoulders all the way up and back and Find a way that's comfortable for you. Just sit maybe even leaning against the wall. Take a couple of nice long exhalations and feel how that really gives you even more sense of grounding, very calming. Let go of any last tightness or tension that you may feel in the body. Let the eyes fall back into the socket. And then let go of your long exhalations and just come back to your natural breath. Make it really sweet, really soft. Feel like the breath is breathing you. And if you like a visual, you could imagine a little white feather right above your upper lip, below your nostrils. And you're moving, you're breathing so softly that the little white feather is not moving at all. You lift the corners of your mouth into a little smile.
Every time your mind travels back to your breathing, have a little white feather. Have about one more minute. And then in your own timing, you can now very slowly release and come to lie on your back for Shavasana. And really just lying back, letting your feet fall open to the side, keeping your palms to face up. Maybe rolling your head one more time, side to side. And then taking one more big breath in. And exhaling through the mouth as you release back into Shavasana. Enjoy.
slowly begin to deepen your breathing. Gently move your fingers, move your toes. And stretch your arms over your head for a good long stretch. And then bend the knees, hug them into your chest. And ever so softly rock a little bit left and right and right and left. And come to rest on your right side. Hmm. And take your time when you feel ready to come back up into a nice comfortable seat and keep the eyes closed. And as you are sitting tall, for a moment, just scan your body from your head to your toes and become aware of anything that may have shifted from your practice today. And so maybe you also feel that when we do really hip practices, that it's very grounding and strengthening. And there, to me, there's always a sense of like, <sighs> kind of like I've arrived, we're coming home. I want to read you a quote by Brianna Wiest. And she said, disruptors serve a purpose in life and every generation deals with at least one. They shake us out of our unconscious states, our habits, our patterns, our routines, our normalcy. And they encourage us to begin again. There are lessons we will learn in this season that we could not and would not have ever known otherwise. There are ideas that will be planted now and watered into a revolution of change. Gratitude will be reborn. Openness will be reborn. We will be reborn. Not because we are blind to what's happening around us, but because we now so clearly see. Take your hands together in front of your heart. Feel your thumbs touching to your heart. Maybe take a moment here to connect to your heartbeat. And then take a little moment to say thank you to yourself for your practice today and your willingness to show up on your mat. Feel sincere with one last sound of all nice big breath. Oh. And then thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Don't let me.